What's up guys, we are back. Today I'm bringing you guys the weekly quest on Destiny 2 server. It's called Grief. It's solo and flawless as well with my Warlock on Well of Radiance. And also I have added the cutscenes at the end of the video so you guys can watch the whole story. Everything is centered around Savala. It's really interesting. Watch it because it's really, really cool this week as well. Also, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Lorval Gaming. And let's take a look at this quest. The second severance is at hand. We proceed as you wish, Commander. But whatever you hear, you must press forward. Understood. Thank you, Eris. Set your amplifiers. Sever Callus' connection. And tread carefully. I see your new protege, Zavala. I wonder, have you told them what became of the last warrior? as well as we learned with crow these devices will help but our success hinges on resolving zavala's inner demons guardian how can you trust zavala when he keeps secret the life he led before the city i knew him before he was your commander when he was young and boastful we used to sit together listening to the sekiras he listens to them sometimes still they remind me of what i lost Focus, Zavala. I am. Why do you leave our names unspoken? Do the memories of that time pain you so much? Lockdown lifted across all nearby bulkheads. You are clear to proceed. Put your duty before your heart. The phantoms trapped in this fetid hull sustain something that is growing. Zavala's nightmare is a part of it, but each amplifier further isolates her presence from Callus's hold.
stay with me a little longer. Life moved on around us, but we can wait here for a moment. You chose to move when you could have stayed. Safi, but... Don't. You have made your choice. Go, go on ahead, die. I'll find my own way. Final amplifier set. I must be seeing things. The scorn are wearing... <sighs> Impossible. The House of Devils is gone. Your eyes deceive you. Don't be fooled. You've reached the Severance site, Commander. The Guardian is closing on your position. The brave Zavala holds his offering in clenched fingers. Afraid to lose the pain he has kept close for so long. It's all I have left. You hoard our memory like a starving animal hoards bones. I'd call that reverence. I mourned. I begged for your forgiveness. What more can I do? Speak our names. Release us. Guardian. You said you mourned our death, Zavala. Stood at our graves, cried out in prayer to your traveler. For a long time. What good did it do? No ghosts found us. Instead, the traveler gave the light to your enemies. It's not that simple. It is that simple. That abandoner deserves your duty more than me, more than our son. It is why you left us both to die alone. Don't use him like that. I chose you. I tried to give it away. You killed him as much as the fallen did. You wove your gallantry into his bones. My son's killers should meet.
until he finds forgiveness. Forgiveness? You share means with fallen behind your walls after what they took. This new life dishonors your old one. It dishonors your son. Hakim. Your true family wouldn't torment you. This is your grief, Savala. My husband is not a liar. And I am speaking his words. He knows what he is. A hollow man leading others to die. For a silent god. Enough. Guardian, bring the commander back before any more damage is done. A hollow man leading others to die. For a silent god. Is that what I've become? Have the years whittled away my nerve? I was convinced that seeing her might make things easier. But her absence cuts deeper than her presence. But they are equally sharp. Sophia. She wants me to speak her name, to confide my feelings in you. What good does it do? Go and see, Eris. I'll tell her you're coming. She'll know what to say. Zavala will not speak to you of his regrets. But I will not let him bear them alone. Here. Listen closely. Whispers and confessions as I have heard them. He would tell it differently. But memory clings so loosely to the truth. I will share what I know. Before the vanguard, before the city, there was a woman. Her name was Sophia, 
and she was a surgeon. She came to Lord Saladin's gates, offering her skills in exchange for shelter. Zavala was his protege then. He had been taught his purpose, and he followed it without question. She maddened him. He infuriated her. But respect grew to admiration, and admiration to love. Does it surprise you that Zavala loved? She was meticulous and gentle, strong-willed, stubborn, fearless. It began with an infant, orphaned in a fallen raid. Saladin had taught Zavala duty, war, and the light. But Sophia showed him that he was more than an instrument of violence. She had one life, and she would share it with him. They called the boy Hakim. And he called Zavala father. In his joy, Zavala thought to abandon the light, as he had abandoned Saladin's ways. That joy ended as it began, with their son. When Hakim followed his father into battle, Zavala could not protect him, and Sophia could not save him. Hakim died in his mother's arms. Zavala wanted her forgiveness, but she knew there was nothing to forgive. And that giving up the light would be no absolution for him. They return to the lives they once led. She found love again. She had a daughter. And when Sophia passed, he asked her to forgive him. Through each generation, he mourned. He asked for their forgiveness. And still, he has not found it. Hey, Commander. How you holding up? I've been better. Sounds like you have too. Yeah. Pretty tore up inside. Any little thing sets me off. Might have said some hurtful stuff to somebody who didn't deserve it. We've all been at our worst. When we're afraid we all fall apart feels like i'm held together by duct tape and spit lately the last few weeks have opened up some old old wounds reminded me of important people i've lost my wife my son yeah yeah i know that kind of hurt other way around though still think about my folks, but I, uh, I can't really remember their voices anymore. I can't remember Hakeem's voice either. I try. I try so hard. You want to tell me about him? Your wife? Someday. Not today. Not yet. Want some company down in your office anyway? We don't have to talk. Maybe we just sit? I'd like that. Thank you, Amanda. Ain't nothing. It's what family does. Zavala's wounds run deeper than he allows us to see. The lengths he has gone to cut himself off from his heart is familiar. It is through accepting what we cannot change where we find the strength to move forward. We grieve, we move, and we grow. Zavala only 
pursuing your patrols aboard the Leviathan Guardian. 